Hi everybody, welcome. Two Saw Acres here. Today we're going to go over a previous project that I did a while back. The, uh, the air compressor's water separator. So I got kind of wrapped up in a few other projects. I'm in the middle of a trailer rebuild that'll be a video coming out here in the next week or two. Um, taking a little bit longer than expected as usual. But then I went to an auction, came home with another trailer load of junk. So I figured this would be a good opportunity. I mentioned that I'd go over this in my uh, shop air build. So <clears throat> here we go. All right, so for those that aren't really familiar with how these work, um, air, uh, warm air, can hold much more humidity than cool air. As the air cools down, it basically squeezes the water out of it, but the water needs somewhere to condensate onto, kind of like dew in the morning. You know, you see the, uh, the grass will be wet, but nothing else will be, or, um, you know, you set a cold drink um, down and it's warm outside, the air is warm. When that warm air touches your uh, cool glass, the air cools down, and when it cools down, it squeezes the water out, and then the water needs somewhere to actually physically attach to, so that's why you get condensation on the glass. That's kind of what we're doing here. Um, I used a, an AC, you know, an air conditioning system condenser back behind this fan. You can barely see it in there. All right, and uh, I rigged up this box fan on just on some plywood and I screwed it to the back and got that set up so that it draws cool air through that AC condenser, uh, but doing it for uh, humidity, get the humidity out of the air. All right, so it goes through there, it comes off the pump head, right? Goes through, through the AC condenser up and down and up and down and then out here everywhere it comes out of after it gets cooled i got a t and then a drain valve for each one it kind of sucks because this is my second time shooting this and i've already drained the water out of it just a couple minutes ago the batteries died on the camera all right so it comes out of there shoots on up goes through these uh finned tubes which these are actually um radiant heat um pipes for you know a boiler system comes out of this one tee off again with a drain valve goes back up comes back down again through the same type of setup another valve teed off comes back around goes into the tank all right and i think so i just ran it a few minutes ago and you can see the temperature difference hopefully so the pump head is always going to be the hottest still at 95 Try to get a temp on these guys. That's already cooled down quite a bit. Yeah. Just a few minutes ago, this pipe right here, the outlet of the pump head was 130 degrees. After going through the entire system, returning into the tank, it was 60 degrees. Um, and everything else in here right now is 55 degrees. So it definitely cools it down. I've had it to where uh, coming off the pump, it was about 190, 170 to 190, and then going in the tank, it's only 75 to 80 degrees, more like ambient temperature. So it definitely works, and it definitely draws a ton of humidity or moisture. I mean, that was just this one drain. I drained it probably three days ago. So it definitely works there, and it, it works fantastic. Um, for the actual fan, the box fan, all I did was wire it right into the uh, 220 into here. Uh, those that don't know, 220 is just two single 110 lines running to the same component. So it's there's two separate hot lines in here. I just tapped off of one of them to give the fan power, and the fan stays on all the time. Uh, or, or not all the time, sorry. Anytime that the switch turns on, the pressure switch turns the pump on, it also turns the fan on. And that's... That's it. That's all I did, and it works great. So, if you got any comments or questions, please feel free to throw it down there. I'll answer it best I can. I really didn't have to buy anything except, I think, one of these uh, three-quarter inch shark bites. Um, and I used those just because I had them on hand, uh, the other ones, but, like, I mean, even this one, you can see it's different. So, I just used what I had, and I, I needed one extra, and I didn't feel like soldering it. So, but I had done enough soldering at that point, and I was tired of it. So... Yeah, that's it.